Uh, County Council meetings now in session. If you'll join me for invocation by standing up, bowing your heads. Lord, we worship you during the Christmas season and the miracle of your son's birth. As we celebrate Christmas, grant this council all the patience, dedication, and sense of humor to maintain the fellowship of service to all our York County citizens in this coming new year. Thank you, Lord, for the many reasons we give cheer, and may everyone have peace, joy, and prosper this special time of year. In your name, amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> First order of business is oath of office. When I call your name, if you'd come forward. Uh, Carmen Miller, Jamie Henriksen, Larry Burnett, Amy Falkenberry, Robert Willis, Gary Morris. Before we do appearances, I want to move out of the uh, executive session, Piedmont Medical Center, Pediatric Service, to number one under new business. And that being said, uh, the council tonight wants to recognize. Do what? Yeah. <laughs> We've never done that before, so you're just moving. Yeah, it's, it's not really the discussion. Oh, I got going to be contractual. You just want to say something. Right, so just okay. uh, kind of. I got you. It's not really much to talk about, so. So, uh, first order of business, council to recognize council member Chad Williams on his service to York County. And Chad, if you would head toward the podium, I'm going to bring you something, but I want to face everybody and say a few things about Chad before I give him, uh, what would I call it? Uh, not an award, but. This recognition plaque, I guess that's the best word for it. But I just want to point out a few things about Chad, and I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget anything. But Chad's always been a gentleman with a sincere dedication to serve all the York County citizens. Uh, his respect for the system and how things are properly done is a standard governing bodies everywhere would be proud of. Uh, Chad's been an asset for me in the regard in that regard, and I would find myself calling Chad on numerous occasions to get his opinion. Uh, Chad and I could disagree on an issue he was passionate about, and it never affected our friendship or working relationship. In summary, I see Chad as our elder statesman. Um, and I think, like I said earlier, I think it's appropriate that I'm stepping down as chairman with you leaving the council. Um, you've kind of been my wingman and I don't think you even realized it, but I'm gonna miss you, sir. 
I miss you too, and you're going to be the old person now. So uh, <laughs> you and Bump, that's right? You and, and Bump. I'll wait until I put my jacket on, Bump, and I stand up as the older <laughs> state. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds almost like I wrote that. I appreciate it. <laughs> While you're coming down, I guess I'd like to take this opportunity to, to, to say I'm very grateful to have worked with each of you on the on the council, with. Uh, with all the employees that, that uh, work for the county of York and, and especially f for and with all the citizens of, of York County. That's, uh, um, we do a pretty good job of remembering that's who we work for and I, I trust that you will, will continue to do so, but it has been a pleasure. Thank you. the battery ran down. Oh, nope, there it goes. I'm going to give Chad a second. He's going back to get the rest of those lifesavers out of the room back there, probably. He's probably taking those with him. Oh, oh, that's right. Thanks, Bob. Join the crowd. Join the crowd. <laughs> Appreciate that, sir. There you go. Oh, my God. That is definitely You get the ugly award. I'm going to get it on. So I don't get you in those ways. Oh, my. Okay. They're coming to get you now, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> what they gonna do, fire me? <laughs> make you stay. But Joel, I don't think be real happy about that if they make me stay. <sighs> I did forget to recognize Mr. Hamilton. He's in the he's in the audience tonight. He will be uh, representing the people of York County through District Seven from here here forward and we appreciate that. <coughs> Welcome, Joel. He, he, can go and get his, uh, he can go ahead and get his sweater. <laughs> he didn't get the memo, but he'll. <laughs> All right, our first appearance is Dr. Brandon Lee to address council regarding human trafficking. Okay, I've never done this before. Uh, my name is Dr. Brandon Lee, and I just want to thank you for having us. Um, I'm going to speak really quickly. I'm just the opener for the main act. Um, my, oh, yeah, oh. name and address from Karen. Okay, uh, my name is Dr. Brandon Lee, and my address is uh, 1188 Heritage Court, Fort Mill, South Carolina, 29715. What do I do next? Go? <laughs> okay, so um, I have the honor and privilege of sitting on the board for the first nonprofit organization in York County to address and combat human trafficking that is happening right here in York County. And the, two found, the, the name of that organization is A New Creation of York County, and these are the two co-founders of this organization. One of them you're gonna hear from in just a minute. Um, personally, I am a father of two daughters. And I have a 12-year-old daughter, I have a four-year-old four daughter, and the mere fact that human trafficking even exists breaks my heart. There are literally women and children being sold. Okay, the, the term that we use in this uh, field is called commercial sexual exploitation, and there are forms of commercial sexual exploitation happening, not just in third world countries on the other side of the planet, like we would like to think that that's only happening there, but happening right here in our backyard. Um, quick fact is that Charlotte is a hub for human trafficking. Uh, geography plays a role. Uh, Charlotte is a major metropolitan city, it has two significant interstates that intersect, an international highway and we have easy access to the coast and so unfortunately every year Charlotte is ranked as one of the top cities along the East Coast for this incredibly fast-growing 
uh, illegal industry, human trafficking. And so here we are in York County, and I mean, if it wasn't for that invisible state line, Fort Mill would just be another suburb. I know maybe you guys don't like to hear that, but to think that human trafficking can, that Charlotte can be a hub and that we don't have it here, it, it is. Uh, I've spent the past four years being, getting educated on human trafficking, reading books, attending half a dozen conferences, and hum, uh, commercial sexual exploitation is happening in every city in America, including right here in York County. I'm sure you guys heard about the uh, prostitution bust that just happened on Friday. And so um, I'm basically going to pass the baton over to Nancy. She's going to share some firsthand accounts with you. But I want to leave with one positive thought, is because of the hard work of these two ladies the past two years, establishing this nonprofit, establishing relationships with the FBI, the Sheriff's Office, Rock Hill City Police, all these different agencies. Um, one positive thing is that we are poised to be ahead of this problem rather than behind it. So I want to leave with that positive note. Thank you. <clears throat> My name is Nancy Landerman, and I live at 1047 Sentinel Oak Drive, and that is in Lake Wiley, South Carolina. 29710. So as Dr. Brandon had said, um, this is my co-founder, Leah Clevenger. You want to say where you live real quick? Sure. <laughs> my name is Leah Clevenger. I live at 1352 Copper Creek Lane, Fort Mill, 29715. Um, the mission of a new creation is to fight human trafficking one life, one heart at a time in our community. And so that is what our plan is. So at this point, who we are, we are a nonprofit group that um, is bringing public awareness to human trafficking right here in our own community. Um, we do that by way of education, community events, um, being present at some of the functions that happens in York County, let example, the BMX races. We were there and we believe we stopped a human trafficking event just by being there and stepping into a situation, the person left, the girl was saved, and we got to talk to her about what had happened. And um, so we got a parent that said thank you. So it's just events like that that we're doing. We have started a community human trafficking task force group that happens once a month at the Salvation Army in Rock Hill. Um, that brings the Attorney General to us, that brings the FBI, that brings the SLED, brings all of the community law enforcements together to say, hey, how can we combat this together as York County community? We have done that. And we were also the first time involved in the sting bust that happened on Friday night. And there was also a human trafficking component to that so that we could say, are these really victims of human trafficking? Are these really prostitution things going on? So because of that effort, that is things that's happening. Um, our vision is to have two safe homes in um, York County. The first one is an emergent safe home. That is to bring um, victims into our safe place, take them from that life, and eventually transform them into the second phase of our house to a second house to give them a real life. And so part of that will be counseling, um, education, job training, um, that will also help them with um, maybe reunification with families, maybe they've lost children, maybe they have um, don't have anywhere else to go, but we are gonna be here to um, be that advocate, that person for them so that we can um, help those folks really develop um, the skills past that life that they knew. One of the examples is we, we know of a girl who was um, taken out of a life when she's 13 years old, rescued at 27. She still had the mentality of the 13 year old because that's where she was groomed. And she lived just to have that breakfast with that person on Saturday mornings and eat cereal. So she would do anything. So it's, it's, it's a whole mindset of things that have to happen and we're gonna be on the forefront and on the after front to help the victims to um, really bring them out of that. So we wanted to introduce who we were. We're right here in York County. We um, will expand our services further on, but right now York County is our focus. As Dr. Brandon Lee said, we are, our, it's, I say we're the suburb of Charlotte. And so if we get ahead of the game, um, we can not only say, hey, we're here and you're not coming into our county and we're going to fight you all the way. So that's what we're here doing is fighting human trafficking again, one heart, one life at a time. Thank you for your time. Say the name of your group again. I'm sorry. The, the name of the organization. The name of the organization. A, group. Creation. A, new creation. A new creation. A new creation. And we brought some business cards so that you guys could have those as well. And we are um, on call 24-7. 
Thank you Thank very you. much. Appreciate it. <coughs> uh, nobody signed up for a public forum, so we're at consent agenda. <coughs> Do we have a motion? Move to approve. Second. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 I'm going to have to quit leaning forward this time on this for sure. Uh, first order of business after that is public hearing. Uh, council to hold a public hearing and consider third reading of <coughs> ordinance to amend the existing agreement governing the York Chester Industrial Park to add parcels within the geographical boundaries of York County to, to the multi-county park to revise company <coughs> names and property owners associated with certain parcels, to remove a parcel from the park, to provide for a public hearing, and to provide for other matters related thereto. Anybody here want to speak against? Anybody want to speak in favor? Do we have a motion? Opposed. Second. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Do we have a new motion? Move to approve. Second. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Next item. Council to hold a public hearing and provide third reading of an ordinance to amend the code of the County of York, South Carolina, Chapter 36, Sections 36.01, 36.05, 36.13, Emergency Management, in order to provide litter control responsibilities and powers to the Department of Emergency Management to the to comply with revisions to section 31.04 <coughs> and to provide for other matters related thereto. Anybody here want to speak against? Anybody want to speak in favor? No. Have a motion to close? Move to close. Second. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Do we have a new motion? Move to approve. Second. Discussion? Question on the motion. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Next item, council to hold a public hearing and provide a third reading of an ordinance to amend the code of the County of York, South Carolina, section 31.04, enforcement officers appointed <coughs> and commissioned in part to comply with aspects of state law regarding litter control and to reflect duties of enforcement officers to add litter control officers and to provide for other matters related thereto. Anybody here wanna speak in favor? Had to change it a little bit, I'm getting bored. Anybody want to speak against? Move to close. Second. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, do I have a new motion? Move, Move to approve. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Next item, rezoning yes, it. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. I have previously given the clerk a letter recusing myself, so before you begin to read it, I will recuse myself. Gotcha. Let me borrow that jacket while you do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Everyone can take their sunglasses off now. <laughs> uh, consider second reading, case number 1818, to resolve from BD1 to RC1 at 373 Forest Way Drive in the Fort Mill community. Move to approve. Second. Discussion. Question on the motion. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Let him. <coughs> N Next item, council to amend and approve third reading of an ordinance to amend the code of York County, South Carolina to establish a board of rural fire control for the Bethel Rural Fire District and to transfer authority to manage and operate Bethel Rural Fire District from an administrative division of York County to such Bethel District Board of Rural Fire Control and to provide for other matters related thereto. Motion to approve. Second. Discussion. Question on the motion, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. no. Next item, council to amend and approve third reading of an ordinance to amend the code of York County, South Carolina, to provide that no more than two volunteer firefighters may serve at any one time as members of the board of any special tax district established for the purpose of providing rural fire protection services pursuant to section 4930 of the Code of Laws of South Carolina, 1976, as amended and to provide for other matters related thereto. Move to approve. Second. Discussion. Question on the motion. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. <coughs> Committee reports. Uh, oh, we got one item under new business. Oh, did I? Oh, that's right. Who did that? I did. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so I just wanted to point out, it turns out I think in February, Piedmont Medical Center stopped uh, inpatient pediatric care. Um, I didn't find out about it until about a month ago when some of the surgeons there that deal with pediatric care 
uh, expressed concern to me. Um, we set up a meeting actually for this Wednesday, but that was canceled by the CEO. Out of my understanding, out of concern that doctors would be present at the meeting. Um, we've had a great working relationship with Piedmont Medical and hopefully, certainly expect we'll continue to do so. Um, I'm going to meet with him Wednesday. I've asked Mr. Shanahan to be with me. I think Mr. Johnson is going to be meeting with him in the near future. Um, but the point of the meeting is just to find out if there's anything we can do to at least if not have a pediatric ward, which I understand that was shut down in February. But since then, they had had kind of a workable relationship with overnight pediatric care. It's the only hospital in the county. It's kind of concerning that uh, parents would have to take their children to another location if the child has to spend, have an overnight stay. So we're just going to start the process of discussion and see what we can work out. Um, now, new business. Uh, next item. Uh, committee and other reports. Honorable Robert Winkler, Planning and Economic Development Committee. Thank you. Uh, Planning and Economic Development Committee met immediately following the um, Economic Development Summit on the uh, December 11th. Um, and uh, we immediately went into executive session to discuss um, fee in lieu of negotiations that were going on. Uh, when we came out of executive session, uh, the motion was made and passed to authorize negotiations with an existing fee in lieu of with transaction. And that was all the business we did that day. Thank you, sir. Uh, next is Finance and Operations Committee, Honorable Allison Love. We met today at 545, and um, the appointment for the Planning Commission, um, that motion died for a lack of a second vote. Um, we voted to um, put um, Nancy Dixon McMullen on the Hospitality Tax Advisory Committee for a first term for District 4. We voted to appoint Tamara Osborne for a first term to the York County Library Board. We got a, a brief update from um, Kevin Madden on the um, on some financial, um, a little financial matter. <laughs> I don't know exactly what that was. Kevin, do you just want to tell us all what that was real quick? That's why I told her. Sure, in a nutshell, um, our audit is complete right now. It's going through second partner review, but the numbers should not change. We'll have an opinion date probably next Wednesday. We had a good year. Um, revenues came in over budget. I think 3.7 million, <coughs> 3.3 of that was due to um, permits, fines, and fees. That was 3.3 million of our surplus. Those numbers were increased in the budget that y'all just approved this past spring. We have seen a decline in this year over the prior year, which was inspected, expected when we did the budget. Expenses came in under budget primarily due to vacancies, which is something I think you are used to hearing. We're going to probably increase the fund balance allocation due to vacancies in the upcoming budget as well. Because of the year we had, we're going to be in January asking you all to transfer some funds from the general fund to the new debt service reserve fund. Those funds will be sufficient enough to negate the need for a one mil increase to allocate to the new debt service reserve fund as well. So that's the good news. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, next items, Council Member, new non-agenda comments. Yes, sir, Mr. Winkler. I guess I'll kick them off. Why don't I just always look in your direction to start this? <laughs> just want to say, as, as has been said earlier, thank you to Council Member Williams. Um, you've been a big help to me over the last four years as I learned what to do and not to do was as a new council member four years ago. Um, I'm not sure. I, I guess now I'll uh, have to wait till Friday to have responses from my emails when I send them out on Thursday nights because usually you would respond when I do things and uh, you know, have questions you, you'd answer back sometimes. So, And for the staff that are out there watching, quit responding to my emails on Thursday nights at <laughs> 11 and 12 o'clock at night. Um, it, it's, um, but uh, you, you've been a, a tremendous help to me, uh, a wealth of knowledge. Um, I do have your cell phone number, unfortunately. I'm probably going to still reach out to you some. You're not getting away completely. so. I'm not going anywhere. I appreciate that. Thank you for your service. Thank you. <clears throat> I must take this opportunity. Mr. Ronnie. I must take this opportunity to, to thank all of you guys for participating in the ugly Christmas situation, as we like to call it. Um, it. It gives us that 
we're a human approach we like to celebrate. We're not always the stiff coat when we walk in the room. Um, I'm really impressed with Michael's get up. I'm about to see if I can borrow that one. But just to say Merry Christmas to all the staff and, and everybody who, who does a great job for us. Um, look forward to a, a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and we're definitely going to um, miss my good buddy Chad over there. Um, we don't always agree, but like Britt said, we can, we can agree to disagree and vote in opposite direction, but at the end of the meeting, we may still get together and go out and grab a bite to eat, grab something to drink, or go walking the next day. So um, hopefully um, I'll, I'll have that same relationship with your, with your replacement, and, and if any of you want to join me for a, uh, after meeting festivities or whatever we like to do, uh, please feel free to join me. But Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to everybody. And Joe, I'd like to point out the new freshman member always pays for those. <laughs> <laughs> that's, right. that's, that's tradition. Uh, anybody else? Yes, oh, I'm sorry. Well, I do want to take an opportunity to thank Chad for his service on the council as well. And of course, we didn't always agree, but he did so diplomatically. Um, it always amazed me how much Chad knew about just institutional knowledge of the county, and I think that's what we're really losing, even though I know you're going to be only a phone call away. That's one thing that, that I'm still glad that you'll be around for, because I could call you and ask you about a contract, and you knew what happened t decades ago, why we shouldn't do something that we were thinking about doing now, or why we didn't do it. And so um, I think that's one area where I know you're going to be sorely missed. Um, you also had one of the best personalities. I don't know what we're going to do. The bar is pretty high for, for cracking jokes and making levity at a time where it's a point where we're about to get angry with one another. And so that's, that's going to be something you're going to have to feel too as well, Joel. Um, and also it helps that you come from a great family and great stock. It's been a pleasure. So, yeah. I think that's the first time you've ever hinted that. <laughs> <laughs> I have to tell everybody. Well, anybody else? I, I Mr. want to Johnson. say that I've heard the last three council members speak, and the one unanimous thing is that we always didn't agree with you. <laughs> I was noticing that myself. So you can take that home with you. Tonight. <laughs> this council did, all, did not always agree I with you. That myself. Um, I felt that tonight at one point that Britt was going to say that you had been pardoned and you did not have to be back in January. Um, you, you. You and I have certainly not always agreed with each other, but you and I, have, we've talked, and you, and I agree with Chris, you bring an institutional knowledge that this council will miss. And um, I will certainly miss uh, bouncing ideas off of you and uh, talking with you. Thank you for your service. Look forward to, uh, you're, not, you're not dead yet, as they say. <laughs> so we look forward to seeing you again soon. Ms. Love? Yes, one morning after I spoke at a council meeting, I got a phone call from a council member and, um, Oh, don't tell I, people that. I know. I'm going to tell it. So I got a phone, a phone call from a council member, and it really kind of scared me, you know, that somebody from county council was on the phone for me. And um, I've, I've said a few times that, um, you know, somebody on council actually, you know, kind of planted the seed that, that I should run for council. So for those of you who like me, <laughs> you can thank Jad. And for those of you who don't like me, you can thank Jad. But I appreciate you. you given me a little nudge in this direction. And I, I too think that of everybody on this council, you have just a wealth of knowledge and, um, and that, leaves, that leaves with you tonight. So we're gonna have to kind of pick up, pick up and, and run with, with that and um, wish you all the best. Thank you very much. I appreciate all that. Robert, I guess you started that so everybody felt obligated to say it. Yeah. <laughs> Michael, I was noticing that pattern too. I don't, don't think I'm disagreeable, but, uh, but no, I have uh, I've enjoyed the service. <clears throat> But I do think that's important. I mean, there's seven of us, and we're not always gonna, gonna agree. We come, try to come to the best, best solution possible and move on to the next one. And I've enjoyed doing that with y'all. And I'm not going anywhere. Um, they, uh, they'll probably quit sending me the agenda, and I'll probably, probably quit reading it. But other than that, if I know something, I'll, I'll be, be glad to pretend like, thank you for, for making me feel like I'm important uh, uh, three months from now. But, uh, but uh, you're in good hands. Joel's gonna do a, a good job, and um, and I'm I'm looking forward to being being a citizen a citizen again. But I'm not going anywhere. And Joe, we look forward to having you up here. Um, one other comment, uh, just sort of FYI for the council members, uh, Pathways. Everybody knows who that is now. Mm -hmm. They want to speak to us. Uh, I think the last meeting in January. So just a heads up for that. So do we have a motion for executive session? <coughs> Yes, sir. I move we go into uh, the executive session to receive legal advice 
regarding the contractual uh, um, regarding project number one 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 four nine dash zero zero four track thirty three uh, condemnation and to receive legal advice regarding the H tax commission. Second. Discussion. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Be back at five minutes. You're a hit at parties. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we just finished executive session. We have one action item. Yes, sir. I move that we authorize condemnation of track number 33 of project 11149-004 uh, uh, as discussed in executive session. Second. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. If there's no further business, do we have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. We are adjourned. <laughs>